Hello there, divine feminine and divine masculine. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, my divines? You can ring my bell. I'll ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, a divine masculine, divine feminine reading. Okay. I just got done doing the separates. So. Let's see what's going on between you two, okay? Or between the two energies. Oh, let's put Divine Masculine here. This is going to be the center cards. And Divine Feminine, we got you here. Okay. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Divine Feminine Collective. Now, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. <sighs> Let's see what the shared energy is here. Okay, folks? Let's see what the shared energy is. Please and thank you, Spirit. 130 on the phone. 133. cards. Divine Feminine, how are you showing up? King of Wands. So I think you're turning heads. Uh, Ten of Pentacles. And the Moon card. You definitely got someone that's looking at you. I definitely feel that energy. Divine Feminine. King of Wands. I don't think they've taken action yet with that moon card there. Some of y'all could just be dealing with the Pisces. Uh, this is like someone thinking hardcore. Two of Wands. There's still some sort of conflict uh, in your situation, Divine Feminines. But Divine Feminine, King of Wands, Ten of Pentacles showed up in your reading. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, remember, you had the one energy that was wishy-washy, so this could be what's holding up this situation. I think you're going to have one situation you're going to have to deal with before this. Uh, or you could get them both at the same fucking time, Divine Feminine. Who the hell knows, right? You definitely got a King of Wands energy. That King of Wands is kind of looking to this side. So someone could have some, some shit they got to wrap up first. You know, someone could have some business to take care of. So Divine Feminine, this could be Crosswatcher energy. Um, let's, let's see what's going on over here with Divine Masculine. Whew. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Divine Masculine. Collective, Divine Masculine, what's going on in your energy here? What's going on with the Divine Masculines? Let's do one more. Ten of Pentacles. So you're both sharing the Ten of Pentacles energy. So Ten of Pentacles, Three of Wands, waiting. It's like uh, Divine Masculine is waiting for that Ten of Pentacles energy. Eight of Wands, communication. So Divine Masculine could be ready to communicate. We got the Tower, though, and the Ten of Wands, the Seven of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, uh, I can tell you. This card wasn't in Divine Masculine's reading, Divine Feminine's. So, I think Divine Masculine is taking care of some business. He got some burdens there. 
Uh, Seven of Swords, kind of moving away from a situation a little smarter and wiser, but there is something that is kind of halting any new start, okay? But I think there is definitely some work being done and endings coming into play, okay? Uh, and I can tell you, Divine Masculine was definitely in the healing process, okay? So, you know, but I told you that King of Wands is over here looking to the side. So, uh, there's still a situation that Divine Masculine has to uh, attend to, whoever your Divine is, right? You don't always know who this is either. Remember that. Ten of Pentacles is, is definitely someone looking for something stable, right? Now, that don't mean... Uh, you know, wedding in, in six months, whatever. But someone who's definitely ready to settle the fuck down. Um, someone could be, you know, planning what the hell they're going to say when they want to come in. But it's just not time. Someone's got to wrap up some business here, right? Two of Wands, the Page of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Yeah, Divine Feminine. Uh, I think Divine Masculine showed up in your reading. Definitely getting some heavy cross-watcher energy. There's still something that's got to be taken care of for an offer can be made, okay? Nine of Wands with the Two of Pentacles. Work needs to be done. Things need to be wrapped up. Can you all see that Two of Pentacles? Be patient, because here's the Ten of Wands in this card. So, damn Divine Feminine. I think this is the first time Divine Masculine was a cross-watcher in your energy. Feminines, check out Divine Masculine's reading. That was a pretty interesting reading. What's the shared energy between these two? So, Divine Feminine, I do feel you have someone watching. Someone kind of, you're turning someone's head. You're gaining some attention, right? That King of Wands was in there. The more you're out there, remember the King of Wands was all about uh, equality and seeing you as the uh, Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Uh, so you're turning heads. So I'm sure if someone is able to come in and uh, make that offer, they're going to. Does that mean it's going to be the next person you meet? No, nah, it could be the third or fourth. Uh, you're going to know this energy. You're going to know this energy. What's the shared energy? Three of Cups. Kind of that celebration. Fun, fun dates. I think that's what's going to kind of uh, be what's important. Strength. You know, this, and you see the, the double mask. So, you're going to be able to do this. Some of you that are a little uh, 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 gun shy, getting out there and, and meeting and doing things. There's the Queen of Wands energy. King of Wands, Queen of Wands energy. I love that. With the Eight of Pentacles. Work is definitely going to be important. Um, Queen of Pentacles, that's probably going to be what actually brings in that King of, uh, or that Divine Masculine energy. Uh, believe it or not. Between the Three of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles, the Strength card, and the Queen of Wands is the freaking Will of Fortune. It's all divine timing, y'all. Everything's got to fall into place at the right place, the right time, right? There are so many variables at hand here. But everyone's got to be doing their part. Everyone's got to be healing. Everyone's got to be focusing on what they need to be working on. Doing the inner healing. Doing, uh, you know... All the grunt work that don't look good, but it, it actually makes for a, a stronger commitment in the end, right? Between the Three of Cups and the Queen of Wands, we get the Nine of Pentacles. Going out and having fun. Uh, definitely uh, good stability there, right? Changing things up. Queen of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles is the Will of Fortune. You actually facilitate the good energies. And Divine Masculine, same with you. This middle energy is kind of shared energy. You're both focusing on you, your, your independence, your stability. You're getting out there. You're being active, right? You actually turn that Wheel of Fortune uh, yourself the more work you do on yourself. 
And look, there's the fucking Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, y'all. We got Ten of Pentacles on all three sides here. Between the Eight of Pentacles and the Strength card, we got the Justice. Things got to balance out. That's the inner work. That's the shadow work, right? You both have to have your shit together. You both have to be able to come together so when you come together, you can create and work together, you know? You both have to be healed. So you're not carrying any extra baggage from past partnerships because that's just going to muddy the damn waters. Between Strength and the Three of Cups here, we got the Five of Cups. <laughs> <sighs> that five of cups energy is you're tired of waiting. There's a lot of impatient energy. We got a lot of this ten of pentacles. There's a lot of people ready to bring in that stability, right? Uh, well, I'm not going to say a lot of people. There's a few people that are actually ready to focus on that ten of pentacles lifestyle. Actually finding someone that can settle down with and have a happy productive life relationship right work love life family everything is good in between the justice the will of fortune the nine of pentacles and the five of cups the three of wands it is that impatient energy it's right on the horizon we got the three of wands right over here in divine masculines energy now divine feminines divine masculines Reading was all about not going in half-cocked, not going in too early without having doing the healing work, right? Same with you, Divine Feminines. You can want this Ten of Pentacles energy, but if you don't do the healing work, it ain't going to fucking work, right? If you're carrying excess baggage, you're carrying energy from past relationships that you haven't healed over, any inner child wounds, anything like that that isn't healed, it's just going to carry into your relationship. Ten of Pentacles in all three decks, y'all. Uh, is it going to happen tomorrow? Probably not. It could be a year from now. It doesn't matter when it happens. Just so long as it eventually does, right? Ten of Pentacles, the Magician, King of Pentacles. It's all in what you're manifesting. What you want in a partner. Not looks, not uh, a particular person. What do you want? Someone funny, someone uh, kind, generous, a worker, uh, someone with their shit together. I mean, what do you want? The energy, the energy that you're looking for, right? Because your, your perfect match might not be physically who the hell you think uh, it is or should be. You know what I mean? Looks can be deceiving, right? It's all in the energy that you manifest. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles energy. That is just kind of staying true to it. Once you figure out what you need emotionally, what you want, uh, you know, on all them fucking levels, and manifesting, staying in that energy, picturing a happy, productive relationship that'll last. Family, those of you that want family. It is such a beautiful energy. Uh... Divine Masculine, Divine Feminines, you can feel a lot of it is wanting to come together. But it, you, you can't rush it, right? It's divine timing. It takes however long it takes. There's so many factors that got to kind of work together in order for it to happen. <sighs> divine Feminine, I do feel you're a little ahead of the schedule, right? Divine Masculine still has some healing work to do. I can tell you that from their reading. Um, yeah, I, I think if the, if the divine masculine was to come in a little too premature, uh, it'd be like I said in their reading, they wouldn't have the tools to do it. They're not really prepared yet. And you know, if you ever watched a man try to fix something and not have the right fucking tools, it ain't a pretty sight. So you really don't want that in a relationship. You know what I mean? So you got to give it the time that it needs. Uh, keep manifesting that Ten of Pentacles life. What is your happily ever fucking after? How do you envision it? That's the energy that you're manifesting. That's how you're calling in uh, the people, places, and things that you need in your life. It's such a beautiful energy. It really is. Uh, keep doing the work on yourselves, right? That's all we all can do. 
uh, you know, we want that happily ever after. We want to find the perfect partner. We want to have perfect relationships. But we got to start with ourselves first. We got to do the work on ourselves. Uh, and hopefully the person that we meet has done the work on themselves. So that way when you come together, you're both healed, beautiful people ready to move forward and build together, create together. I apologize for the light. There's the Ten of Pentacles. There's the Ten of Pentacles. There's the Ten of Pentacles. Straight across the board. On the same page. Wanting the same thing. Working towards the same thing. You can't rush that. You can't rush it. Hmm. That is beautiful. He can ring my bell, ring my bell. Ring a ring a ring. Right? It takes however long it takes. Keep focusing on you. Keep doing the work on yourself. And let, let God surprise you. Let God surprise you. Peace, love, and light. 